Measure D puts to the voters um, the uh, proposal to, to repeal uh, binding arbitration. People have probably pointed out that the impact of binding arbitration is not the number of times that, that people actually go to binding arbitration, but basically the threat of binding arbitration. Um, and I, what um, persuaded me to support Measure D was my eight years on the city council um, as a city council member and mayor. And if you look at the data, so that's, that's basically what I go immediately to, is not what it sounds like in theory, but what it does in, in, in fact. And if you look um, at the um, SEIU, S -S 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 -E -A, which is the Service Efforts and Accomplishments Report, and this is um, from recent years, the January, 2011 one, and it shows that over the past five years, general fund went up 10%, fire went up 31%, which basically uh, crowds out other services. So community services is up, you know, 0% over five years. Public works is up uh, 10%. And so what I remember being on the council is every year it's, it feels like running in place that every year we're, we're cutting, 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 um, although actually the budget is staying about the same or more or less. Um, so I remember, so we couldn't, people came and complained to us about um, less library services. We had to cut hours. We had to, uh, we, we couldn't do as much pavement um, repair on the streets and sidewalks um, and all these trade-offs that we were making.